All right, uh, a little backstory to preface this uh, video. Winter has arrived, and already I'm thinking about spring uh, from the hiking bushcraft aspect. And uh, one of the things I've had on my mind recently is ways to lighten the load and maybe even try to take more traditional routes. <clears throat> so I'm thinking of, what do you call it, haversack, right? And to go with that, uh, some kind of bedroll. So last night I had this idea and uh, we're going to play with it today and just see how it shakes out, see if it's feasible and maybe get some feedback from all of y'all. Excuse me, I'm sick as a dog today, so this is a, a good, uh, a nice little diversion. It's that or sleep. So while I was laying in bed hawking up a bunch of lung biscuits last night, I started thinking that this would make a nice ground cloth. It's a, uh, what do you call it, survival blanket. It's uh, vi plasticky vinyl on one side, and then it has this uh, reflective uh, material on the other. Right? So I had that already in the car. I thought I'll use that. And I also wanted to... Uh, see if I couldn't finally use this thing. It's uh, a gift from uh, uh, an old viewer, <clears throat> Canoe Johnny, who died, I guess, uh, two years ago from uh, cancer. But this was something that he gave me and I've never used it. So I thought, all right, well, let's see if we can't incorporate that as well. Then I have a, uh, what is it, uh, Static V, it's an air mattress. Uh, it's pretty small. It's fairly lightweight. Uh, and I thought, yeah, okay, I don't like sleeping on the rough ground. I'm going to need something. And then I have uh, my DIY hammock top quilt that I made with a couple layers of uh, this material called Insultec. And it is super lightweight and it compresses nicely. So I thought. I could incorporate all these together and make a bedroll, and we'll see if we can do that. So here we have the layers. It's all laid out flat. This is the emergency blanket. This is my air mattress. This would be the emergency bivy sack. It just has some Velcro closures on it. Then on top is my... Uh, my DIY top quilt. Let's get a look at all that together. So the <clears throat> emergency blanket is just the right size. It would be nicer maybe if it was about a, another six or eight inches longer, but that's okay. So now I have to figure out how to fold everything and roll it into a manageable package. That's coming up. Okay, so the Top quilt I folded into thirds, the bivy bag I folded in half, and the air mattress I also folded in half. So the emergency blanket then will just fold in thirds as well over top of all this, then roll up down to the end. I'm going to pull this up a little higher here to begin with, just because these things are just a bit longer and I don't want anything sticking out of the end when it's all done. In fact, I want to fold the emergency blanket over the foot of all of that. All right, and then we'll figure out how to tie it all together and put some straps on it. We're going to start with about a six inch fold in the emergency blanket. Then we'll fold this over and that over and roll from that end down to here. Okay, so I have just realized a fatal flaw in my plan. I have to bury this portion inside the blanket before I roll it. Otherwise, these edges are going to be exposed. That edge and that edge will be exposed in the middle, and if it's raining or whatever, those things are going to get wet. Can't have that. Let's start over. Okay, simple fix. All I did was fold this stuff in, 
again leaving a little a little bit of space up there at the top right so we'll wrap it up roll it and see how it looks so hallelujah here's what we end up with this bundle is uh, 18 inches long and uh, if I measure from the end it's about six inches six uh, six inches 18 by 6 oh I couldn't tell you what the weight is with any kind of accuracy oh well, hang on I'll go weigh it okay so the scale says this all weighs five pounds is that a lot I don't know is it a little I don't know it seems little enough um, so I'll make a couple of straps to go around two on e one on each end and then uh, I'll uh, add uh, some shoulder straps to that so I can carry it on my back or just sling it over one shoulder. There you go. Uh, okay, correction. <laughs> this is a five pound weight. Uh, I think it says so clearly there. And <laughs> it is significantly heavier than this. I don't know. I'm just using a standard bathroom scale to weigh this thing, so there's, there's no telling. <clears throat> anyway, this is five pounds, and it is so much heavier <laughs> than this little bedroll. So I don't know what this weighs. I'm inclined to say three, four tops, right? Again, this would just be a <clears throat> spring-summer kind of thing. I, I would never use this in, in severe weather. I'm just playing right comments welcome uh no haters please actually that's fine you got if you gotta hate you gotta hate you can vent on me i'll be kind in return okay this is take two take three this is a possible setup for the bedroll that i'm putting together I want to come down to the foot end here because it's kind of interesting. This top quilt that I made <clears throat> has a drawstring as well as a Velcro tab that allows you to close that up but still leaves some ventilation through here. So it actually snugs right around the end of the air mattress. Pretty cool. Hangs on there. So the top quilt is on top. Here's the bivy bag. The air mattress is inside the bivy bag. Experience has taught me that on cool nights, this air mattress does get cold. So by keeping it in the bivy bag and on top of the reflective blanket, I think we're going to save a lot of heat that way. And that is one idea. The other idea is to put the top quilt inside the bivy bag. Eh, you could do that too. Okay, revised technique for rolling and stowing. The uh, air mattress has been uh, folded in half and rolled up. The bivy bag is folded in half and then over on itself each side. The um, Top quilt has been folded in thirds and then folded over, right? Now we're going to wrap this up. That, as they say, is that. Here's an instructive uh, closing shot of this uh, 
bedroll that I put together compared with my old uh, foam uh, ridge rest uh, sleeping pad. Now, you have to remember, <clears throat> the ridge rest sleeping pad is super, super lightweight, but these two are exactly the same size, and I'm getting a little more, <clears throat> I believe, out of this than just that, because with that, I still need a sleeping bag of some kind, some kind of uh, ground cloth to lay it on, or a tent. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what you think. Don't be shy.